Hey everybody and welcome to uh, an interesting little let's play. Uh, I came across this little game, it's called Soul Axiom on the Nintendo Wii U. Uh, this is a, uh, uh, this apparently um, is a preview event uh, demo uh, of this game. Um, it's free to play and download right now on the Nintendo Wii U for only a limited time of a game that's supposed to be coming very soon. I actually just finished playing this a little while ago so I'm going to show it to you guys. Here real quick you can beat it pretty quickly uh it's a first person style puzzle game kind of a lot like uh games like portal only uh a bit different in its gameplay style i wasn't really sure exactly what this game was going to be uh, i thought it was going to be sort of a you know maybe an action fast-paced game and maybe it gets a little bit faster in the actual rest of the game for right now though it just starts off very slow you start off in this room and uh i mean you can't hear the footsteps now but uh but when they started coming earlier i swear to god it sounded like i was wearing high heels so uh you're walking along here and uh, if you press down on the uh on the left thumb stick you can run you uh press a to jump which doesn't serve that much of a purpose right now. You also have a duck, and uh, you can just look around. Uh, these environments don't look too spectacular right now, but I chalk that up to the fact that uh, this is obviously still a very early access game. Um, walking along here, and oh no, it's a blue grid thing. Will this actually hurt you? No. Because uh, the first time I was playing through this, I was like, oh no, I need to run away from that, and then... You know, because your jump is kind of crappy, you can't really, you know, jump out of the way here. And so it's like, then it's like, oh, well, it's just a grid. It's not actually going to hurt you. So you just drop down here. And there's, there's this door over here that you can't go through because it's protected by a blue grid. It's kind of feels Tron-ish uh, in that way. And you go to go over here and you get your, your first power up or ability, which uh, gives you the power to be able to interact uh, with these blue grid thingies. And it tells you right away that, oh, that you can either uh, phase out objects or you can make them solid. So, like, right there. Now that, now that ball is solid. So that's actually kind of the interesting part about this game, is that uh, the interactivity with, well, with some objects, not all objects. And then this is where, you know, you get introduced to this kind of large desert Egyptian area. Also kind of feels like uh, mist a little bit to me, uh, I will admit. And so, and when I first came out here, I had no idea what the hell I was supposed to do until I figured it out. Uh, you got this big thing right here, and with the other button, uh, uh, with the uh, with the left trigger, you can make things solid. Now, and your other hand will uh, uh, will desolify things. Not everything. Um, it's only when they have a grid. So, like right now, this I can desolid that, and then I can resolid it again. All right, so, and we see this big old laser beam thingy. It's got all these different grids in here. So what you got to do is you got to interact with all these other ones. And you see these big things at the top? Well, they're very similar to these. So what you do is you fill in the exact combos. But first, we got to take away... Wait, no, that's solid. We gotta destroy those. Yeah, and uh, uh, I will admit uh, the moving and aiming really doesn't feel very accurate. But again, I'll just chalk that up to the fact that uh, this is very early access. Uh, all right, so we want we want this one. That seemed to have missed, or no, that's, damn it, that's, uh, that's desolified, but it goes off in the different direction, but you just move around it, and 
do that and now it'll go over here and it'll activate this one boo yeah and again very early uh in development so uh whatever it looks like now i'm sure it's not that fancy yeah and so you have to do these first two in order you have to do that one and then and then this one and then you can activate that one because for right now you could not hit this thing where it is let's resolid this barrier here and now we need to No, wrong one again, sorry. Gotta desolify that one. And then I'll activate that one. Blow it up. Uh, I do find it funny how it keeps on telling you, oh, press the Y button to look. Like, at what? Exactly. All right, and so now, now we want to make all of the designs in here solid. So... Is that one and yeah it's like the aiming does not feel that precise it doesn't feel very good it doesn't feel accurate and then that's really all there is so far to this once you step in there uh, the demo ends and then uh, you're treated to a bit of a cinematic which will obviously tell you what the story is or going to be in that uh, you will begin to inhabit uh, people streams or that uh you upload uh your memory or your or your soul into this digital universe so that uh you could relive your dreams and so that uh your families could relive uh your dreams and your memories and such and um i will admit that's a pretty interesting concept uh i would like to see what else might be coming for uh for gameplay wise uh, or how, or how different a lot of the puzzles will be, or if there's any kind of combat where you have to use uh, your different abilities to be able to stop enemies, uh, like desolify them and then resolid them and such in order to defeat them and get past them. you've already taken your first steps to immortality. By uploading your soul to the latest state-of-the-art soul provider, you're joining me and thousands of others in yeah. a sprawling server where memories and dreams become reality. Yeah, uh, your memories and your dreams uh, basically uh, are you, becoming digital. Some memories I'd rather forget, and hundreds I treasure forever. Uh, and the weird thing is, is that uh, I thought uh, that Rage Select had actually taken a look for uh, at this game because I remember there was a similar game with a similar idea where you were you were some sort of a digital dream therapist or you were uh, a dream therapist um, assistant and you were going into other people's dreams in order to help them coax through their problems. Please mind your step as you but the train and make sure maybe this is a different game and maybe I confuse that with something else so and also uh, when she walked on screen uh, I I kind of thought huh she looks a little bit like Hillary Clinton then, now, and forever and yeah that's the dem that's the demo uh, I guess that uh, this also must have uh, previewed uh, uh, at E3 as well. So you guys have probably already seen this. All right. So everybody, that was uh, a quick little look at Soul Axiom. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I will say I am intrigued, though, when I was first playing this, I had no idea what was going on or what I was supposed to do. So for the first part of while I was initially playing this, I was pretty damn bored. Uh, but once I figured out what what I needed to do uh, it did pick up a little bit my interest I will say is pretty meh because for the most part I mean I can like a good puzzle game but uh, there's just you know this just didn't show me a lot and I would like to see more in order to get invested or really interested in so let me know what you guys think in the comments section 
And uh, you can check me out on Twitter at JMR82709. Hit the like and subscribe button if you did enjoy this. Uh, and, and, of course, I would greatly appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Hope that you've enjoyed.